Dieter. And I'm Amber. Welcome to season two of Will It Blast. In this season, we're gonna to try to get even more creative with substrates that we're gonna sandblast. Amber, what should we do for the first episode of season two? Well, we have a cement paver here, Peter. I think we should uh, give that a try. Okay, so I know a lot of our customers sandblast on pavers and porous substrates. We have a new film called MMX that we wanna give a try and see if we can get MMX to blast. So MMX is a 10 mil self-adhesive photoresist film. We already made the stencils in one of our automated washout units. As you can see, it's a dog, Bella. Um, memorial stones or pet memorials are very popular now. So this is a typical stone that a lot of our customers will use for pet memorials. The trick is, is getting the mass to stick to a stone like this. A lot of times customers will have to use additional adhesive. What do you think, Amber, is that? I think we should try some additional adhesive, Peter. Okay. Do we have any? Right there. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna use our blastable application adhesive. To apply it, you would just use a foam brush. And you don't need to put a lot on. We're just trying to get a little bit extra tack on the stone. And I'm just going one direction. Now do people need to make sure they're getting in those cracks, Peter? Yep, it's a good idea just to get in all the cracks and grooves. Uh, this is a very rigid and, I don't know, what would you call it, amber? Uneven surface. That's it, uneven. So that's all it takes is just a brush across like that. Now, are we ready to apply the mask now? No, we should wait for it to dry a little. Okay, so you can wait 10 minutes or you can speed it up with a heat gun or hair dryer. Um, Hey, look at this. Perfect. Did you hair... bring that from home, Peter? I did. I think we're good. What do you think, Amber? Looks good, Peter. Okay, we are now ready to put the mask on. Oh, yeah. It sticks much better. So you get it lined up where you want it, centered on the stone, and then you gotta take the carrier sheet off. And you can typically get a corner down and then peel that up. So I'm gonna press this mask down. You can use a squeegee to get it down just so it's tacked a little bit. Peel that carrier off. And now you can press it down with your hands or what do you think, Amber? It's got all these grooves in here. Any suggestions for getting that down a little better? How about this, Peter? Oh, go for it. <laughs> so the rubber mallet will help if you have a lot of peaks and valleys in your stone. So it'll help it conform a little bit more and get the mass to stick even better. It's just one option. You can also just use your thumbs and so on. Now, a lot of customers that do this every day on this type of stone or brick pavers, they'll have heat lamps above and they'll set the stones underneath and just let the heat um, help the mass to conform. But we could also use our hair dryer to heat it up. Um, I would recommend using your wire wheel first. Let's get that membrane penetrated a little bit and then press down. Amber, why don't you give it a try? I think we're good. It's pretty nice, Peter. Did you pay big bucks for that? Nah, Kmart. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to blast. We're gonna cover up these areas and just use, you can use regular masking tape or painter's tape. And with this paver stone, we're gonna blast at a little bit higher pressure than normal 
So I'm doubling up the tape just in case. We're ready to sandblast. So when you're blasting something like stone or paver or cement stone, typically you're gonna to wanna to use a, a little bit larger nozzle, one eighth or even a little bit larger, and you're gonna blast at higher pressures with 120 or 150 mesh abrasive, either aluminum oxide or silicon carbide. The bigger the nozzle, the more frictional heat you're gonna have while you're sandblasting, so it'll etch the stone faster. So bigger nozzle, and coarser grit will etch much faster. And you can see our, our artwork is pretty bold. If we we're trying very fine artwork, we'd probably have to go to a 150 or 180 mesh, but this will work fine with, with a 150, or I think we have 120. We'll see. So we're ready to blast. I'm turning the pressure to about 50 PSI. And we have 150 silicon carbide. First thing I like to do is just go around and clear that membrane that's on the mask. And then I look for areas just to make sure the mask is pressed down beautifully. Okay, so it looks good. Let's start with uh, the wording up above and then we'll work our way down. Okay, so now all we need to do is remove our mask. You can use water as well to remove the mask. Okay, so we blasted this and there is some contrast. You can kind of read the name we didn't add any color, um, but there are options for adding color. Um, if you have an artistic person, I think, uh, you know somebody who like does hand painting. Right, if you want something to be more personable and hand done, you could definitely have somebody hand paint this because it's a larger image, so it'd be very easy to, to do that. We did do one earlier, and we actually painted it. So you can see the difference. We just left the mask on and spray painted it. So exact same process, same image, same blasting techniques. We just left the mask on, on this one, and we sprayed a paint. You can use, if this is gonna be outdoors, which most pet memorials are, you'd wanna use a lithochrome paint or uh, something like that that's not gonna wash away with the rain. Um, but you can see a lot better contrast when you do paint it. Some people like this look and then do hand painting. So it's up to you. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Will It Blast? Well, folks, we found out. It will blast. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm like red in the face. Right. <clears throat> Are you ready for us? Ready. All right. So, Amber. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so where should we start? You don't want to edit this out. <laughs> no. Well, folks. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably get a couple takes. But <laughs> 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 this is bringing back good memories. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Better be careful because I need a replacement soon. So you're up. <laughs>